the company and the school feeding program secretariat have been unable to deliver on their mandates due to financial constraints. The Speaker of Parliament, Alban Badwin, after paying a surprise visit to the two institutions, is urging government to address their challenges. It's been more than a month since school feeding caterers went on strike over non-payment of IRS and the demand for an increase in the current daily feeding grant from 97 pesos to 3 CDs per child. As a result, an amount of 50 million CDs was released by the Ghana School Feeding Program to clear some IRS or the caterers for the third term of the 2021 academic year. When you see caterers say they have not been paid, it's like uh, they are not actually facing the fact that they are misbehaving because they go to take the schools themselves. Meanwhile, the structure here is not for you to take school by yourself. You need to be allocated with the school with criteria which you have to fulfill before you can actually have the feeding program to work with. But for now, the payment of our third term, which is uh, 2021 uh, third term money, uh, 12 regions have been paid in full. We are allowed with four regions. An unannounced visit by the Speaker of Parliament to the National Food Buffer Stock Company and the School Feeding Secretariat revealed more challenges. The Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Buffer Stock Company, Alhaji Abdul Wahab Hanan, shared the current challenges the company faces. We have done our best over the years, from the year 2017 to date, we are responsible for the feeding component of the free senior high school uh, uh, program. Our major challenge has to do with the other aspect of buffer stock, which is stocking for government emergency use as a food security, the buffer as a food security um, 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 reserve. That has always been our challenge. Speaker Alban Babing expressed the need to change the narrative from one that looks like a food crisis. He explained that government must address the problems urgently. We cannot just open them up to commercial sources of funding. Uh, it's not just sufficient to give seed money. I think government will have from time to time to come in to give them some financial support 